Hello! If you click this video, you're probably wondering, should I even do Vlogmas as a small YouTuber? I've thought about that quite some time to myself, and the answer is yes, and no, and it kind of depends. So let's just get right into it. Bug. My name is Neka. I am a 29 year old graduate student at Columbia University in New York City studying clinical psychology. I also am a yoga instructor at Core Power Yoga and a current intern at the United Nations, specifically the UNFPA. And hopefully you're a new BFF on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe so you never miss an upload. Yeah, let's get into this Vlogmas thing because I have some stories from you, like some tips, some tricks, everything. My Vlogmas, like 2023, or 2022 rather, ooh, it was, it was quite, quite interesting. I have my notes like here, so if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notes. Yes, my loves, cozy up, get something to drink. I am drinking the Chestnut Praline Latte from Starbucks. I absolutely love it. Oh, so good absolutely delicious but yeah let's uh start talking about this vlogmas plan if your goal as a small youtuber is to do vlogmas and get a thousand subscribers and go viral and just like be monetized and set for life on youtube i hate to say this because i don't want to be a hater but that's probably not gonna happen but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do vlogmas i truly believe that every YouTuber should do Vlogmas just because, well, I have a few reasons. So let's just get right into them. <laughs> okay, so I have about three reasons why I think every YouTuber should do Vlogmas. Reason number one is because it truly, truly helps you learn how to edit videos. When I look at my 2022 Vlogmas, I'm like, wow, these videos were so bad. At the time when I was making them, I obviously was like, wow, like, this is the best video ever. It's so good. Oh my God, everyone's going to subscribe. Like, I'm doing so many fun things. <laughs> but now I watch the videos a year later and I was like, oh, the lighting was terrible. Oh, the sound is weird. Wait, this video doesn't even have audio for the first five seconds. How did I miss that? And it's just when you're making, like, videos so quickly back to back to back you're gonna learn a lot about the editing software you, you use so the first thing you should really focus on learning is like just a bunch of shortcuts within your editing software so i use final cut pro so like maybe you learn how to use the blade like b for blade to cut your videos or zooming in and like learning shortcuts to paste attributes and just all that kind of nitty gritty stuff Plus, if you are doing Vlogmas this year and it, you're a new YouTuber, I highly recommend you start looking and testing at least one, preferably all three of the following. I have to get my notes. <laughs> okay, drum roll please. Those three things are, one, like learning how to color grade or use custom LUTs in your videos. So if you don't even know what that is, look it up but it basically is like putting an instagram filter on your videos and it just makes them look really nice and put together for example this is what this video looks plain and now i'm gonna put my filter back on because it just makes it look so much better so you should definitely definitely try experimenting with that during vlogmas if you're new to it the second thing is i would highly recommend trying like new transitions and i'm so bad at this and hopefully you guys are getting some cool transitions in this video because i truly will just use the shush sound and a black screen and that's like the transition that i use for like all of my videos but this vlogmas i'm really testing out using some new transitions some slides getting some fonts and like just doing all that fun stuff because it just makes your videos that much better and higher quality and then, oh, I also put you should try Christmas themes. I recently found this person, her name's Type Haley, and she makes a bunch of affordable like little plugins and downloads and transitions that you can use. I haven't tested any of them yet, but hopefully I'm testing them now as I'm editing this video. <laughs> 
but I highly recommend because she has a lot of really cute stuff for Vlogmas and Christmas. And then the last thing, oh, it gets so tiny, I don't like that. And then the last thing I really recommend, actually, I want you guys to be a little higher. Okay. And then the last thing I really recommend is trying different video formats during Vlogmas. So if you're the type of YouTuber that does a lot of sit down videos, a lot of like talking to the camera, like giving your thoughts and just like maybe talking about pop culture or something that you're passionate about or an expert in, I invite you to try doing like a vlog or like a day in my life. If you are familiar with my channel and you've been following me before, you know I am a vlog girl. I love making vlogs and vlogs actually take a very long time to edit and upload, but I think that's why I like them so much because they challenge you while you're editing. Like, I don't know. I just really like making vlogs and like making little time capsules of my life. But it's Vlogmas and making vlogs for 25 days is not realistic so i would highly recommend if you do all vlogs try some sit down videos if you do some sit down videos or mostly sit down videos try doing a vlog like just try to switch it up this year i really want to try doing a cooking video and doing more sit down videos because i rarely have sit down like talky talky videos with you guys just us chilling with our coffee one-on-one -on -one environment and when I do do those, like my life update videos, they typically do pretty well. I just never get in front of the camera to talk to you guys like this. I'm usually always like, we're running late, let's go here, let's run around New York City, this is my friend's house. Like I'm always like out and about and doing stuff. So I would highly recommend for Vlogmas, as a new YouTuber, try different video formats and just see what works on your channel. Maybe your subscribers want more one-on-one -on -one time with you. Maybe your subscribers want to see your life. Maybe you cook all the time and people don't even know that you do that cool thing. Like, ooh, I also really love watching like girls make um, like thrift clothing and stuff on YouTube. Like it's so random, but like they thrift things and then they like edit them and like make them like super cute and modern and stuff. I don't know. I think it's called like thrift flip, thrift flipping. It's something I really love on YouTube and it's super random, but like if you have that talent, show it off. Like just do something new for Vlogmas. All right, I'm rambling now. Let's go to the next thing. Let me check my notes. Okay, so that was reason number one, editing skills. Reason number two, you will gain subscribers. Now, I know I said that you're not going to blow up and get monetized and be viral and have all these amazing things that you probably want to happen to you. And I also want to happen for you very, very soon. I just don't know if Vlogmas is the best place for that to happen, but you will likely get a lot of new subscribers. Last year, I got about 30 subscribers, which is kind of typical for how many subscribers I get a month. But also what I noticed when I was vlogging and uploading super consistently, I actually was losing subscribers during Vlogmas because the videos weren't that good. <laughs> And that's fine. Like what matters are the people that subscribe to you and love you and stick with you and want to watch your journey. Don't fret if you post a video for Vlogmas and you lose a couple subscribers. I think that's kind of normal. And I also think it's a reflection of like, hey, maybe that video wasn't the best quality. Maybe I should try again. But I mean, it is Vlogmas. So I think it's okay if your videos all aren't like 10 out of 10, if you're making them really fast and going for 25 videos and 25 days, like the quality might be a little bad for some of the videos and it might be really good for other of the videos, but what matters is that your audience is getting more of you and so they can make that informed decision and if they wanna stick around and stay subscribed or subscribe or unsubscribe. Just don't let that phase you and you will definitely get more subscribers if you participate in Vlogmas versus if you don't. And then the number one reason, like the last reason I think you should participate in Vlogmas is because you'll be trending. You will be trending. You'll be on a trending topic on YouTube. And I already said that you're not going to go viral, but there is a difference between trending and being viral. Um, so being viral, I think of that as like just like a numbers thing. So you have so many watchers, so many subscribers, all that fun stuff. But being on a trending topic is like... 
it's going to help elevate your channel. I think that's a best way to describe it. So essentially, like you know how on TikTok, it's like the trending page, the for you page, all that fun stuff. It's the same thing on YouTube. And so if you participate in Vlogmas, Vlogmas trends all December long. So hopefully you'll get more new eyeballs on your channel just by participating in Vlogmas. And it's also a really good way to sign up and to like start using that idea of like, oh, this is trending, so I should make a video on it. That will help you even after Vlogmas is like done and over with. And so who knows what's gonna be trending next year? I know I certainly don't, but I know who does, Google. And Google also owns YouTube. So if you go to trends.google.com, you can sign up for Google's Trends newsletter, which I sign up for. And every week or so, I believe, they'll send you whatever's trending in your area. And so I use that. Well, I actually haven't really used it yet, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> but the idea is, you use that to stay on trend and hopefully you'll get more subscribers, more viewers, more watchers on your channel. So really try to like kind of lean in. That's me leaning in. Didn't that like, um, I think it was a Facebook CEO, not CEO, but executive woman. She made that book called Leaning In. I didn't read it. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. Now I'm rambling off topic. Oh my God. <laughs> But yeah, definitely use the trending topics to help kind of influence and inform your videos, not just in Vlogmas, but also beyond. But I think Vlogmas is a really great way to kind of help use and inform trends to make videos about. So yeah, I think, I think that's it. Wait, no it's not. I think I have one more thing to say. Okay, so my last little tip for, well, honestly, is it even a tip? If you made it to this far in the video, I hope you are already making your Vlogmas content plan because if you hadn't noticed, the long and short answer is absolutely yes, 100%, you should do Vlogmas as a small YouTuber. I do think, and I guess this is my last tip, you have the power to make Vlogmas your own, so you do not have to do 25 videos in 25 days if you don't want to. I know for me personally, I have so much other stuff going on. Like in December, I'm gonna have finals, then I have my internship, and I teach at a yoga studio, and like I also have an, another job that I do at Columbia. Like I just have so much on my plate that adding 25 YouTube videos on top of it just seems really, really unattractive. And if you are similar to me in which you have a lot of other things going on and you can't take the brain power to make all 25 videos in 25 days, I would like to offer to you as a suggestion, trying to do just 12 days of Vlogmas. So doing 12 videos, that's essentially a video every other day or every two days or so. And that's what I'm gonna do. Last year I tried to do it and actually I set myself up kind of to fail. So last year I tried to do 12 days of Vlogmas and I started like December 12th and I wanted to go until December 24th or 25th and I literally got to like eight videos. And the last video actually came out in January. So <laughs> it really didn't work out that well. But this year I'm gonna take that same concept doing 12 days of Vlogmas, but I'm gonna give myself all 25 days to do it. So uh, if you may or may not have noticed, this is actually Vlogmas day one for me. It's going to be a mixture of talking to the camera videos, like sit down videos, which is very weird and very awkward for me. Like. I don't know, I feel like these videos are just kind of boring because it's just me talking to you guys. I mean, I guess the information is informative, but as a vlogger, like someone who likes to do vlogs, I'm like, I want to get cute B-roll footage of me like lighting a camera or like walking around New York City or like getting my coffee or like all the shops and stuff that I see. So that's just where, like when I think of YouTubing and vlogmas, that's where my mind goes, and so I am still gonna incorporate that. I'm gonna do about four to five vlogs, but I am gonna do a good portion of these talking videos because I do think 
they're useful and they're a lot easier to edit than huge vlogs and I think I mentioned this at the top of the video um, but then also add in a new format so I'm really hoping to add in one cooking video for you guys I'm not gonna go overboard <laughs> But that should be fun too. And so I invite you to create like a 12 video mix for yourself and for your subscribers and just like have fun with it. I mean, honestly, if you want to do 25 videos, do 25 videos. I am praying for you right now, moment of silence. May the universe be with you. But for the girls that are not doing 25 videos, I highly recommend you try 12 videos. And I also want people to realize that a lot of the YouTubers that do 25 days of Vlogmas, like that do 25 videos in a month, are also like low-key full-time creators and full-time YouTubers. So they kind of have the space <laughs> to focus 100% of their energy on YouTube, which is what I think uh, vlogmas truly demands of people and if you have other responsibilities going on like if you are in school or have a nine to five or just have kids or like whatever you may have going on in your personal life like i just don't know if 25 days is realistic for everyone but that is kind of the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys got some cute little christmasy ideas i'm gonna drop in the show notes show notes oh my god podcasting is clearly also on my mind but in the description down here i'm gonna drop in just the um wow my mind it's blinking oh i'm gonna drop in the link for the Thai kaylee stuff if you guys want to check her out and then also please leave me a comment below letting me know if you are going to do Vlogmas or not this year. I really want to check out your channel. If you are, please make sure you subscribe. And my camera is going to die right on time. So I love you. I'm going to leave you here and I'll see you in the next episode of Vlogmas. Happy 12 days of Christmas, everyone. Bye.